Hi everyone and welcome to my first ever flight review on the channel. This evening we will be flying Jetstar on board their Airbus A320 from Sydney to Melbourne. The Jetstar check-in area is located in Terminal 2 along with Virgin Australia and Rex. The airline offers many self-check-in kiosks, however a fair bit of them were not working. Once you've passed check-in, security is a few steps away from it. I thought at this hour it would be a lot busier, but reality proved me wrong. Once you've passed security, you are immediately bombarded with numerous food outlets and duty-free shops. There are also plenty of windows which can give you a good viewing experience of the tarmac. As you get closer to the Jetstar gates, there are still many food outlets and duty-free shops which I guess is a good thing. At Sydney Airport, Jetstar operates out of gates 49 to 59. Our boarding gate for this evening's flight is gate 58, which is at the very far side of the terminal. Here is our aircraft for today. It is an 11-year-old Jetstar A320, registered as Victor Hotel, Victor Foxtrot Delta, or VHVFD, which was delivered to Jetstar in November of 2011. This evening, boarding was relatively on time. Normally at Sydney with Jetstar, rows 1 to 15 would board via the jet bridge and rows 16 and above would board via the tarmac. But at gates 58 and 59, you will board via the tarmac regardless of your row. Jetstar's A320 is in an all-economy class layout in a standard 3-3 configuration with 186 seats in total. My seat for today is 2F. The seat features are very basic. You have a standard size tray table which you can pull down and slide backwards and forwards. However, you cannot fold it. Above that is your main literature pocket which contains the safety information card, in-flight menu and two air sickness bags. On the side of each seat, there is an individual coat hook, and below the tray table, there is a smaller seat pocket, which you can use to store your smaller belongings. The recline situation isn't bad, however, the seat shoots back at you if you don't already have your back rested on it. Small belongings underneath the seat in front of you, and only your larger bags, wheels first, into an overhead locker. If your seat is in an exit row or at a bulkhead, you will need to put all of your personal belongings into the overhead lockers. Please ensure you take care when lowering the armrest. And be reminded that smoking of any kind is not permitted on the aircraft, including the use of e-cigarettes. Once the last cabin door is closed, you will be required to place your personal electronic devices into flight mode for the duration of the flight. Please let us know at any time if you need any assistance. Today. As you make yourself comfortable, please ensure that all your belongings are stowed well underneath the seat in front of you or into an overhead locker. Radio transmitters may not be used at any time during the flight. 
approximate flight time. Down to Melbourne tonight will be one hour and nine minutes. We are here to look after you. So remember, if there is anything we can do for you throughout this short flight, please don't hesitate to ask. Once again, welcome aboard Jetstar Flight 531 to Melbourne. Ladies and gentlemen, forward door is now closed. Jetstar Flight 531 to Melbourne. Cabin crew, please prepare the cabin for departure. Hello again. We want you to have a safe and enjoyable flight. So please listen closely while we take you through the safety requirements for our Airbus A320. Your crew are highly trained to help keep you safe. So make sure you listen to and follow their instructions and breathe normally. Keep the mask in place by fitting and tightening the strap and then help others around you. There is a life jacket located in the pouch under your seat. If it is required, remove the life jacket from the pouch Place it over your head, pass the strap around your back, clip it at the front, and then pull on the loose strap to tighten. Only inflate your life jacket as you leave the aircraft by pulling down on the red tags. You can top up your life jacket by blowing into these mouthpieces. The life jacket also has a whistle and a light to attract attention. Smoking is not permitted anytime, anywhere on board the aircraft, including in the bathrooms. It's our pleasure to have you on board with us today, and we hope you have an enjoyable flight. Thanks for listening. Taxi to this specific runway was very long, which ultimately added a delay. Anyway, please enjoy this unedited takeoff footage from runway 34 right at Sydney.
behind us, smoking could be easier as a baby, you drop it at any time. Now that we're up in the air, let's quickly go for the in-flight menu. Jetstar offers many drinks, including alcohol. There are a handful of snacks which you can purchase on board. And finally, there are only very few meals. Prior to the flight, I pre-ordered a chicken wrap and some tea. It took about 25 minutes for it to arrive, so in the meantime, the views were very nice outside the window. So here is a chicken wrap. In all fairness, it tasted very good. And here is the tea that burnt the top of my mouth. But nonetheless, it tasted pretty good. The camera crew on this flight were also really lovely and always serviced with a smile. We are currently cruising at 36,000 feet. remind passengers that some fruit, vegetables, plant materials, fish and uncooked fish products are restricted from entry into state and territories throughout Australia. These items must be placed into the quarantine bins as you enter the terminal building. Quarantine detector dogs operate in some terminals. Thank you. ...to your seat and bring your seat back upright. Lower your armrest, open your window shade and stow your tray table. Place your belongings either under the seat of The seatbelt sign has now been switched on for landing. Please make sure your seatbelt and the seatbelt of infants and children travelling with you is now fastened. The cabin crew team will now be seated for landing. Thank you. So, the flight, how was it? Well, for starters, the check-in process was simple and quick, though many kiosks did not operate properly. Security was a breeze, which is a surprise to me as I thought it would have been a lot busier at that hour. Anyway, there were many food outlets and duty-free shops on the way to the gate. Boarding was somewhat efficient and the staff were very nice. 
The seat was clean but very basic. The seat back was not the most comfortable and there was no headrest, though there was a more cushiony feeling towards the top of the seat. For an hour's flight, it was completely fine, but anything that is three hours or above, I would not recommend Jetstar. We took off exactly 30 minutes late at 6.35 p.m. and landed 11 minutes late at 7.51 p.m., which, to be fair, I didn't mind. The meal that I had, the chicken wrap, tasted very good. The tea, however, well, though it tasted pretty good, it was served extremely hot and burnt the top of my mouth on the first sip. The crew, however, were extremely nice and were always smiling. So, overall, the flight was not bad at all. With Jetstar being a budget airline, I'd rate this experience a solid 7 out of 10. Anyway, that's about it for this evening's flight. I hope you enjoyed my first flight review, and I have many more coming in the new year. In the meantime, I'll shut up and let you enjoy this approach and landing footage. Thank you very much, and I'll see you soon.
crew just have those?